things like that horrify me. Everything I do seems to horrify Increasingly, you. yes. I never thought you'd manage this, but you're really succeeding now. And what's that? I'm starting to properly loathe but you. But what's taking you so long? The rest of us have been there for some time. Prince Charles the villain of the series? Season 4 of The Crown has just landed on Netflix and is already crying some teeth in England. The reason? Prince Charles, through his relationship with Diana Spencer, is presented in his bad light. But is he really the villain of the series? Not just your mother-in-law, she's also your queen! <laughs> Diana! Josh O'Connor, his interpreter, answered the question. Season 4 of The Crown has just debuted on Netflix, and it wasn't long before fans all agreed on two points. The first? Diana Spencer, played here by Emma Corrin, is absolutely awesome, touching, and exciting to follow. Yes. Yes. What did she say? Yes. Please. The second. Prince Charles, played by Josh O'Connor, is not really a good person and does not deserve the sacrifices made by Diana. Prince Charles, a villain? It would be a disaster for everyone. Her Majesty is unavailable at the moment, but I should have... Also, while Charles's actions act directly on the unhappiness felt by Diana, it is easy to portray the Queen's son as the show's big bad. But is this really the case? This is the question that was aptly put to Josh O'Connor by you. My job is ultimately to resist this kind of consideration he confided, visibly reluctant to get wet. However, the comedian later added an interesting comment, my father was an English teacher, and I grew up learning Shakespeare through him. We know him now. First of all, he's, he's learning stuff. You know, at that age, we're all really young. Often we don't know exactly what's right and wrong, and he's trying to work his way through this incredible responsibility on his shoulders. And one of the things he used to say about of all the villains described by Shakespeare was that they don't imagine themselves to be villains. They believe that what they do, what they build, is for the common good, and it makes sense to them. Theirs is not a perfect marriage. Understatement. It is a long-lasting marriage. And in its own way, a happy marriage. Oh, she is not happy. She's happier than you think. Well, he's betting most of her friends. It's complicated. A story that goes beyond them. In fact, it would all be a matter of perspective. And if many people think that Prince Charles is not a good person and that he often acts badly, Josh O'Connor assures in any case that he never had this idea in mind when playing him. So, um, Charles, a younger Charles talked about uh, climate change when we all thought, oh, crazy Charles, what's he talking about? So I guess one difference is that uh, we now know that Charles was right all along. As was the case with Shakespeare's villains, I didn't want to play the character of Charles as a villain. And I don't think he is. I think he's someone who is terribly lost, as we can see in season 3. He's the same person as in season 3. According to the actor, despite appearances, Charles is no more responsible than Diana. On the contrary, they are both victims of a story that is beyond them, he needs something from Diana that she cannot offer him, just as she needs something from Diana. His party can't give her. It's just a real tragedy. Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video.